Hey, Railheads, I got a new airbrush. Let's take a look. Coming up on my Finger Lakes Railway layout. Well, Amazon had a deal on this gallery. They spell it funny. Uh, GHAD-68 Airbrush a little while ago. Now, I watched a review by Rinaldi and <laughs> pulled the trigger. Uh, you might not know Rinaldi. He does mostly military modeling, mostly weathering and painting. Probably one of the best there is. Uh, I'll put a link to his review in the description. But I thought, hey, if it was good enough for him, it's good enough for me. A nice blow up of all the parts on the inside of the box. That's pretty cool. That sounds like they stand behind their product. You get a six page booklet on how to get started, troubleshooting tips, how to take it apart and clean it. It's pretty nice. And I give you some extra O rings. Two sizes of paint cups with lids. Two sizes of nozzles and needles. This trigger style of double action airbrush is new to me. So here's my old Harbor Freight double action. You have to push down on the button to get air and then pull back on the button to get paint. And I, I never really took the time to get good with it. This trigger style feels a whole lot better to me. You pull the trigger to get air and just pull it further for paint. Of course, the further you pull it, the more paint you get. Well, this has kind of turned my world upside down. This is not how you're supposed to take it apart. Well, maybe I ought to read those instructions again. You're supposed to unscrew just the back part, not the whole thing. The gun came with a small needle in it, and I'm swapping it out for the 0.5 millimeter. I tend to have fewer problems with a bigger needle and nozzle. Well, now the handle doesn't want to screw back in. Ah, I had to back out the little fluid control knob on the end of the handle. You can set that to limit the trigger travel. Now, this is called getting to know your airbrush. Well, it shoots water, but I noticed a little water dripping out of the end. Come to find out I didn't have the needle completely seated in the nozzle. Ah, another lesson learned. Hey, let's shoot some primer. Uh, 
Uh, this is a Pike Stuff guardrail kit I'm shooting here. Well, the primer went on real nice. I'll clean the airbrush and then it'll be time for some paint. I'm putting the needle in from the front so I don't damage the point. And you got to be careful. These things are really sharp. I'm shoving the needle all the way into the nozzle this time. I'm good to go. I cleaned the nozzle out with some IPA too, but it was hard to see on the camera. Well, here's what I use for a compressor. It comes in handy for blowing up tires and shooting brad nails too. I'm mixing up a real light gray color for this dust cyclone. I got this from Steel Mill Modeler Supply. I love using this airbrush. You don't even have to think about the trigger. You can focus all your attention on the paint application. So if you're not happy with your current airbrush, I recommend give this one a try. And no, I'm not sponsored by Gallery or anyone else for that matter. And take care. Happy modeling.